Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Huddle Pregame Show. I'm Keith Schweigert, joined by my compadre, Tim Gross, and we're getting you ready for week eight of the Lancaster Lebanon League football season. And Tim, let's start with our game of the week this week. It's Mannheim Township at Wilson. The Blue Streaks are coming off a crazy 31-28 loss to Warwick last week in a game that was decided on a Hail Mary touchdown pass with 14 seconds left. That puts a bit of a damper on this week's game since it knocked Township out of a first place tie in Section 1, but still a big game here. Uh, what do you think of Wilson, and uh, do you think the Blue Streaks can find a way to win this one? Well, as to your second question, I mean, uh, Warwick hadn't beaten Mannheim Township since 2002. So, uh, you know, if anyone knows what, you know, those anomalous, you know, victories can be, it's Mannheim Township. Um, and also Warwick gave uh, Wilson a good game mm -hmm. a couple weeks ago, I think. Uh, Wilson only beat him 14 to 10. So uh, Blue Streaks definitely have a chance, uh, but Wilson is just Wilson. I mean, it's almost routine at this point, which is, yeah. it's unbelievable that like, this can almost be taken for granted. And it takes nothing away from Wilson. It's just that this has kind of been the expectation for so long that it, it's kind of not unremarkable, but you kind of run out of things to say about it. Absolutely. Uh, this year's team, I mean, the one thing that does stand out is that statistically, there's not really one guy who's driving everything. Uh, Wilson's had its share of really top-notch star players the last few years. I mean, recently with Shane Dantzler. But I mean, now it's just a bunch of guys with really, really good numbers instead of fewer people with great numbers. And, and they've, they've, getting, they've gotten contributions from you know, offensive, defensive, special teams plays um, just across the board that they've been really good. So I, I think that just makes a tough matchup for anyone. Uh, and Mannheim Township's certainly gonna, gonna find that out Friday. Okay, another game we're gonna be watching this week is in section two, where Elizabethtown visits Garden Spot. And Tim, both of these teams are two games out of first place in the section race, and I'm not sure if really either one of them can make the District 3 Class 5A playoffs, even if they win this week. But I can tell you that the loser is almost certainly out of the running for the playoffs. So how do you think they match up in this one? Yeah, I think this is uh, really, to borrow a cliche, gut check time for Elizabethtown. They were 3-0 mm -hmm. and to start the season. They've been 1-3 and in their last four games. So it's really kind of up to them to, to see where they're going to finish this season and what time, kind of tone they're going to leave for that. Uh, for Garden Spot, they got Jihad Jeffers back, their leading rusher last week. He ran for 111 yards. Um, it's kind of going to be up to him to, to test the E-Town defense. And the Spartans are, uh, you know, they're going to be going for, if they win, uh, they'll be guaranteed at least a 500 record for Zach Fulmer's first year. So they have plenty to play for. So does E-Town, and it'll be interesting to see how that plays out. Yeah, it does sound like it's going to be an interesting game. Thank you, Tim. And thank you, thanks to you for watching. Remember to visit Lancaster Online for more information on this week's games and follow along with our live coverage on Friday night. And of course, check us out on social media. For Tim Gross, I'm Keith Schweigert. We'll see you next time.